Johnny here. Right now I'm in Kenya, on the Laikipia Plateau, just to the northeast of Mount Kenya. I'm here to lead our Kenya horse safari across the Laikipia Plateau, west towards the Loldaga Hills. It's a journey of about 150 kilometers across some of Africa's most spectacular landscapes, where hopefully we'll take in some of her most impressive game. But this is no ordinary WF trip. As far as group tours go, this is just about as swanky and top-end as it comes. Barana itself, from where we'll stay for the next two days and ride out across the plains around here, is the most beautiful place. We've got plunge pools, we've got an infinity pool, we've got great guides and amazing food. Of course, from here it will become a little bit more rough and ready as we head out across the plains and go fly camping for the next three nights. But then we'll end up on the other side of the Laikipia Plateau where we'll stay in another fantastic lodge for two more days before finishing the trip. This is a trip I've wanted to do since I first came to Burana back in April 2010 and I'm so excited that it's finally going to happen. So this seven night trip involves two nights at Barana at the beginning, two nights at a place called Sosan Eco Lodge at the end, and three nights camping. But as you can see, this is camping the African way, and here they do it in some style. We're about 2,000 metres up on the Loldaiga Hills and we've just walked up, left the horses down below to come and have a look at some rock art. These are rock shelters that would have been used for thousands and thousands of years. And the rock art here that Michael's just explaining to us is probably about 5,000 years old. So the horses that we use, you can see behind me, they're polo ponies. They vary in height between about 14 hands and 15 three-ish. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They're perfect for this terrain. They're sure-footed when you're going over the hills. They're great at a canter when you get onto the plains. Um, really safe, really honest, and a beautiful ride. So our Kenyan horse safari has just about come to an end. As a little later this morning we head back down to Nairobi. And I have to say, the trip has been everything and more I'd hoped it would be. Over the last eight days we've ridden fantastic horses across some epic landscapes. We've stayed at two wonderful lodges and camped out old African safari style in some lovely camps. We've eaten like kings and of course we've seen plenty of Africa's amazing game. But that's not what's impressed me the most. What I've loved more than anything is the sense of journey, of adventure, albeit in some style, that we've experienced. So if you like your horse adventures to come with the added sense of purpose that comes from making a journey, if you like to see Africa at her grandest with giant plains and giant skies, and if you like to ride through hidden places where few, if any, have gone before, then here in Laikipia, you will find one of the best horse riding adventures anywhere in the world. Hey.